Hey guys, yeah, um, this has not been a good month, um, December was a disaster basically, I did speak about this before obviously last time, obviously with our injuries in midfield, I was a little bit worried about that, how it was going to affect the team, just injuries in general, and yeah, it went horribly, trying to play with what we had went really badly, we'll go over what happened, as you can see though, we are currently now sick in the league. We dropped quite a bit, but we're only three points away from first place. You can see how tight it is right now. It's ridiculously tight. Look, five points between eighth, or sorry, ninth and first. It's insane right now when you look at it that way. But yeah, we've had quite a few injuries still. It, it's not been good. Uh, suspensions as well. It's been a horrible month. So let, let's go over what happened during this month and you can already see the the horrible 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 red um obviously last time you guys saw we played against telford and we lost 2-1 not a great result not how i want things to go but that's football after i played against plymouth and we lost 1-0 so never lost there that allowed plymouth obviously to go ahead of us you can see here game wise we played pretty equally pretty equal game we just couldn't find the goal um, you can see in our formation, we use Mackenzie Cunningham. I don't know what's going on here. A lot of our players just aren't performing up to the standards that I expected them. Obviously, it's a difficult game, but still, another game that we lost. After we played against, uh, I think it was Oldham, and we lost 3-1. A game we definitely should have won, and we just, look how poor we were. Look how poor we were. It was atrocious. I don't know what's going on. All the games before just seems to have turned us off now. And then after that, we played against Cambridge. And we did manage to win 3-0. So this was kind of the light at the end of the tunnel. I even changed, look, we even changed formation because, you know, Cunningham had a red card. And somehow we won this game. I don't know. It's been a ridiculous month. We played really well here. Um, Jack Dunn scored. Junior scored two goals. Finally getting back to scoring. It'd been a while since he scored, obviously. Um, these three games did not help us. But yeah, it's been an aggravating month now. And think of that win there only put us in to sixth. So we had three points less than before that game. So you can see it's it's not been good times. It's not been good times at the club. Junior is a second top goal scorer right now. Uh, Wintel is actually drawing... Uh, no, he's fourth actually when it comes to assists. So overall, you know, the team's not been doing badly. Um, Conton's got the draw for the first, you know, most clean sheets. Um, so overall, this season, we've been playing well. It's just like results have been going against us recently. And it's been really, really annoying. Um, but you've got, got to try and move on from that. We've got to do better. We have a positive budget right now, which is better than last season. So our balance is actually positive in January which is what I wanted to see. So it's gone better than last year. But obviously our finances aren't perfect. We really need to get promoted. Not just for the club, but just for me though, you know. Because, you know, we people might want to try and grab me and stuff. Um, here we go then. We're up against Ebb's Fleet, who are currently in 13th. You can see I'm going quite quickly through things because I just want to get through this match. <laughs> I just want to keep going and just get back to normal where we were. I just want to keep going and keep playing. You can see here our players are very tired today. Are playing quite a few games, of course. Um, our players are tired. Um, they're not in their positions. You know, Ashton hates playing as a, a, a left, uh, sorry, right midfielder. Jack Dunn has to play as a midfielder. Richard is up there. It's just a ridiculous thing. But they did win last time. Obviously, Kuya's a bit tired, so that's why Jack Dunn is there. Wintle as well. This is definitely not what I had in mind. The whole thing of having our midfielders all injured has really hurt us quite a lot. Billy Murphy's still going to be free, free the four months. I mean, it's been a ridiculous time. Nothing we could have done about that. We just have to improve and move on. Today, though, we're going to play like this. Hopefully, we come out on top and get things rolling. I believe the players can do it. The last game showed they can play in this formation and with some players out of their comfortable positions like, you know, Ashton. Jack Dunn is kind of the question for this match. Can he play in that position? We'll have to wait and see, but 
I'm hoping it goes well. Here we go then. Ebb's fleet. They're going to play a similar formation to us. They're probably better suited for that, so that's probably not a good sign for us. Um, we'll let them just count from last match because you played really well there in this pos in these positions. With some different players, of course, though. Ebb's fleet's home. Look at that. Lovely little stadium, this one. Um... Let's get this to extended. Nope, I clicked on key again. I really need to win this game. If we can win this game, we can capture all those teams at the top of the league table, of course, because there's only three points between all of us. It's so close right now. Anything could happen. We need to get one of those automatic positions. I just... Uh, I can't believe it, how far we've fallen. I mean, position-wise. You know, point-wise, we've obviously dropped a lot of points. Um, the fact we haven't dropped further down is you know probably due to the fact that other big teams are also not playing that well even that's why it's so close but we were doing so well before i felt like it was certain we could possibly even just you know get one of his top three positions and have a good shot win the league it could still happen but that that month has knocked me back a little bit it's made me really uncertain about the players especially certain ones like samido i don't think he's played well uh, Junior, though, with a great little steal there. Oh, and there we go. Junior does it on his own. That was great. Thank you, Junior. We've now gone up into third position. Look at that. Nice little steal of the ball there from Briggs. Shoots it, bounces back to himself. He obviously did that on purpose. We know Junior's just that good. He's that good. He did that on purpose. Of course he did. Um, McKenzie, not having a good ball there. Got taken by Poole. Uh, Butterworth gets it back to Poole. Get, oh, good tackle there by Kelly. Richard with the ball. He gets the ball. Almost the junior. But junior blocks the ball from the... God, that was... That was exciting. <laughs> that was an exciting piece of football right there. But now we're back in the third position. That's an automatic spot for us right there. Though Levery has the ball. Can he take a nice shot? But no, he could not. Did not work out for him. 21 minutes so far. Some good balls to Junior so far. Um, Richards has been playing quite nicely as well. I like Richards when he comes on. Dunn gets it to Samido. Samido didn't really know what to do the ball there. McKenzie gets the ball to Richards. Richards done a, a nice turn, that was. But just not a great finish. But he's got the corner. Richards is going to take it. The young lad, obviously, gets it to McKenzie. McKenzie gets it back to Richards. Richards gets it deflected. The players we brought in actually have been pretty good. You know, Richards and uh, Cunningham. Was it Cunningham? Cunningham. I've forgotten now. Cunningham, I think it was. Um, they've both been really good when we brought them in. Both were young, un kind of untested, unsure about both of them. But they've really come into the team and actually they performed quite nicely. Very happy to bring in young players to be able to do that. That's what we want to see. And that's what Bath has to do sometimes because we can't attract those big players. We have to try and att attract those players that have really been let go by the bigger teams and stuff because the bigger teams just don't want to risk them or just let them go. They didn't think they were good enough. Leyland gets to the McKenzie. McKenzie into the centre. Samido couldn't get a good head there, but that's fine. We're almost the half time now. We've gone down the fourth. It looks like the other teams maybe are winning their games, possibly. The ball into Butterworth, but that's fine. Dunn gets the ball. He gets the ball to no one, but, you know, smashing it up can be good sometimes because you are our two strikers up there very fast they both like to just get in there and attack those defenders so it can be good as we saw with junior's goal Zamido with another corner not a good not good corner so far but the attacking seems to be working i'm not seeing many good chances by ebb's fleet they've had two shots so far and one has been on target so i'm quite happy with the team so far nice little head there by ebb's fleet getting it to their butterworth Butterworth gets it back to Ferguson. Pool. Back to Chappelle. Lovery. He gets a good ball to Butterworth. What was a defender thinking there? Who was... Was that... Was that who I think it was? I think that was Oluwu. Very bad defending there. Same after... Yeah, let's do the same. I'm pleased with that. Keep it going. Just need a bit more clinicalness. A bit more concentration maybe, guys. But you should definitely be winning this match. Ashton. Get us back to our winning form. Ashton just, you know, he doesn't like the position, so I'm not going to completely blame him. You know, I am playing him in a position he really hates. Like, he has no comfortability with that position at all. Ebb's fleet seemed to be going to more on an attack there. We saw three players there. 
already take on my defenders. We're one point now behind first place Plymouth. Oh, God. I don't want it to be this close. I really just want a comfortable, you know, top three position, you know. I want to get ahead just so we could be secure that we'd be in the top three. But now it's just going to be, ugh. And we know that when it comes down to, like, it being a tight league, we don't do well. Every time we get in a position where we're competing, Mackenzie, oh, wow, did you see that? Mackenzie with the skills. Did he just, like, back tap that? Let me have a quick look again. That was just... Really just nice, simple stuff there. Junior gets it there. Do you hit with the back of his foot? There. Look at that. He tried I, He tried to do a little skill there. I think he meant to do that. I, I, we're going to say he meant to do that because, you know, I brought him into the club. You know, we want him to do well. So 2-0. Looking good. But we know we don't do well at close competitions. We do well in the playoffs. We, you know, we've won two playoffs. So, I mean, we lost one, of course. But we've won two. So I'd say we do well at playoffs. So... When it comes to knockout competitions, I oh know we don't do well in cups though, do we? So I can't really say we're good at knockouts. We're good at high stakes games. Like when we play big teams, that's it. Whenever we play some of the big teams, we normally play quite well. Um, it's normally against the lower league teams, actually, we start to underperform. Like our players just think they're going to win, so they kind of let it go. Or they're just really hyped to play the big teams. Richard gets the ball. Nice little attempt there. Much better than I expected. They get it back. Okay. So if it does become a close race, I do not feel confident at all. Um, Richards, though, gets to the junior. Junior. Oh. Ooh, that was a, that's a horrible tackle right through the back there. Did he? Hmm. That was, that was not a nice tackle. Luckily, Junior was not injured, it looks like. Richards heads it, but gets it down. Could this be a counterattack now? Flood has the ball. Flood gets it back to Andrews. Ooh, nice attempt. Now, Coddington was not going to let that in, though. I'm going to make some changes. Um, Jack Dunn. Oh, that's a few, quite a few players are very tired. Mackenzie in particular. And he has a yellow card. Maybe he's injured as well. Okay, Winter, you're going to come for Jack Dunn. I, I can't. He's injured. I can't bring him on. Mackenzie's going to hold on with that yellow card. Um, Monfi, you're going to come on for Aluwu. Who else is the next? 66%? Yeah. Zach can come on for Josh Leyland. There we go. Take off the most tired players. Because um, that could lead to mistakes at some point. A little worried about McKenzie, but I mean, if we go a man down, we're 2-0 up. I think we can still win. So I'm not too concerned about that. Samido takes the ball. Junior with a nice ball to the Richards. We've had, both of them have been playing really nicely together. Nice balls together. Really liking them at so far. Maybe we should just go 4-4-2. Maybe we should just do that. Then again, I don't really have a a right midfielder, so... I don't think it can work. I could probably try and like do like maybe two attacking wingers instead with two strikers. I don't usually like that formation um, personally, but I've seen people do it before, so we could try it. But I've probably keep to what we've been doing so far. It's worked so far, you know. We may have had you know a bit of a blip um, the last month, but I think that's all it was—a bit of a blip due to the tiredness of the team and the injuries and stuff. None of that has helped. Obviously, we've not had our captain, Billy Murphy, either. I don't think that's really helping. We've got 10 minutes left. We've moved up to third now. There we go. Okay. Feeling a lot happier today. <laughs> that's why I just really wanted to play. I wanted to get back to our winning form. Just to make myself feel a lot better about this so far. So, uh, it, it's working out. It's working out. Hopefully, it just continue. We've got five minutes. Get the ball to Junior. Not the best ball, but Richards gets it back. Junior now, he just got goal there, but I think it was going off anyway. I don't think the goalie really had to save that. But, you know, that's fine. Gives us a corner. Richards gets the ball in. Ashton, I think, there almost scored from the head there. Just couldn't get it on target. Here they come with their own corner now. And nothing came from that either. Junior, see, that's what I mean. Junior and Richards are both just running everywhere. Getting the ball whenever they can. That's what I like to see. Andrew's there. They've not had good shots so far, Ebb's fleet. I felt quietly confident about this game. Free kick though from a dangerous position. Poole though gets it back to him. Powell though couldn't make any fun. Another corner now. Three minutes to go. You know what? I'm just going to put it on uh, key highlights because... Oh, and there we go. Ebb's fleet are showing us 
You know, exactly. Let's put it back on extended then. Uh, Ebb's fleet are showing us how to take a corner, apparently. They've seen that we're not good at taking corners so far, so they wanted to show us how to do it. Butterworth just, you know, saying, look, this is how it's done, guys. Guys, come on, learn from that. Learn from it. Copy them. Samida gets the ball to Junior. Junior gets it to Richards is offside, actually. Richards now gets the ball, though. Junior. What's he going to do? He's going to try and take a shot, but just bounces off the player. Gives us a corner. There's one minute of extra time. This is ours. Samido gets the ball in. Samido, come on. You just saw a good corner. You need to copy it. Come on. But 20 seconds left. Ball of the ball in there. The junior. Junior not with a good ball in, though. Um, two's going for that ball. That was just... That could have gone at anything. Um, here we go. Ball is going back and forth in the air now. Two seconds left. One, zero. And the game is done. We got back to winning form. Two wins in a row. I think that makes me feel a lot better now. A good win, boys. Well done. Puts us back into third. One point behind first place. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Feeling a lot better right now. Ashton has been in great. Another injury. Just what I needed. Just what I needed right now. But that is good. Hopefully we can continue this form. We know January is no is normally a good month for me. So hopefully that can continue. We've got Brian in the FA Cup. Not looking forward to that game. Not looking forward to that game. But I've been NG. This has been Bath. And uh, we'll march on and see you next month. See you then.